Storm Team Meteorologist Lindsay Rachel with Central New York's most accurate forecast. Good Sunday morning. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms and the motherly figures out there this morning. We did have some sunshine, a nice bright start to the day, but it was a little foggy, a little frosty in some spots like Pamelia, New York. Michael Corwin shared this view. You can see the frosty grass. You can see the fog in the sky there, but you can also see the bright start. As for temperatures, yesterday we made it to 54. I think we'll get a little bit better than that with some sunshine today. We also had some rain yesterday, almost four tenths of an inch at the Syracuse airport. You know, every day almost in May has had some sort of measurable uh, precipitation, except for that beautiful day on the 6th when we had some sunshine. So the month of May is above average in terms of precipitation. Do you know since the beginning of the year, uh, the only month that had above average precipitation barely was January. So we do need some precipitation, some rainfall. We will see some today, but we have the sunshine now. It's a beautiful start to the day. Our temperature at the airport is 45 degrees. Our temperatures, like I mentioned, get a little bit warmer with that boost of sunshine. I think highs can make it into the mid to upper 50s. And you notice the first half of the day is dry. Then we see some increasing clouds. And then for the Syracuse area, closer to dinner time, that's when we have some light rain on the way. Temperatures elsewhere. We're in the 30s in Cortland, so a little frosty there. 41 degrees in Watertown and Fulton and for Sodus. Live Doppler 9, it's quiet to start. We zoom out that view and show you that we do have some clouds first that are going to make their way in and then some light rain that nudges from the south to the north. So let's plan out your day with your time cast. We start things off 8 o'clock this morning. We have temperatures rising through the 40s. We see increasing clouds. If you have lunchtime plans, it's still dry. After lunchtime, that's when we start to see some rain on the radar. It's moving in from the south and pushing to the north. So after about 3 or 4 o'clock, that's when you can expect some rain entering uh, the southern central New York area. We're talking Cortland, uh, down to Auburn, Ithaca, Watkins Glen, Penn Yan. And then once we get closer to 5 o'clock, that's when it reaches the throughway and then continues to lift to the north. I think the steadiest, heaviest precipitation falls overnight tonight, and that heaviest precipitation falls closer towards the southern tier. By the time we wake up tomorrow, we do have some showers still lingering. We have the clouds as well, but then you'll notice we see um, some dry time. We do have some showers lingering to the north country in the afternoon, but in the Finger Lakes, we have that sunshine. And we have temperatures, that, again, that'll make it into the upper 50s. Rainfall totals, we're looking at a tenth to half an inch uh, for most along and north of the thruway. Closer to the southern tier, that's where we're looking at a half an inch to an inch of rain by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. Getting you out the door tomorrow, I would grab the sunglasses. I would grab the jackets. We do have the sunshine developing. Temperatures are rising from the 40s and into the 50s. Tuesday, we cool down. We have some showers in the afternoon. Wednesday, we dry out. Thursday is mainly dry. Temperatures overall still seasonably cool. I think it does look promising next week or well, the week after next week that we see some more seasonable temperatures closer to 70.